They have long claws, a bone-crushing bite, and a tough attitude. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to announce the competitors of the 26th episode of Animal Battle. The Tasmanian Devil versus the European Badger. And you already know that if you stick until the end of the video, you will be able to vote the winner of this animal battle and you will find out who won the previous one between the Harpy Eagle and the Osprey. Let's do it! I am Mario and this is Animal Battle. The rules of an animal battle are straightforward. We are going to compare our two candidates based on the six sacred characteristics which are agility, attack, defense, intelligence, bonus skill and survival. After that, you'll vote the winner in a poll. Simple as that. So let's go right to agility. The Tasmanian Devil has quite a unique appearance, with four legs slightly longer than his hind legs. But despite that, it is capable of surprising speed and endurance. It can reach 13 km per hour when running, can climb trees and can swim across rivers. What about the European Badger? Those short legs are clearly not suited for running, right? Well, the Badger can actually reach up to 30 km per hour, which is really impressive. It can also swim pretty well, but that's about it for agility, so let's see their stats. While these agility stats are good for their size and appearance, they are still not very impressive compared to other animals. But you'll find out that agility might not be that important when we will talk about their attack and defense stats. Before that though, let's go to their bonus skills. Both of these animals are nocturnal, so it makes sense that their senses are adapted exactly for foraging in the dark. The European Badger has an acute sense of smell, but only normal hearing and monochromatic vision, meaning that they can't see red color and react only to moving objects. The Tasmanian Devil's dominant sense is hearing, followed by its excellent sense of smell with a range of 1 km. The Devil has black and white vision, which is also better suited for detecting moving objects. Both the Tasmanian Devil and the Badger have scent glands that release a very nasty smell when threatened. Still, they mostly use these for marking their territories, because the smell is their unique signature. I can also mention that they have claws that are used for digging and that the facial mask of the badger is actually used as a warning and for camouflage. You might be wondering how black and white mask would help with camouflage during the day. It doesn't help during the day, but it is very useful at night. It looks like the Tasmanian Devil still has better bone skill stats, but the badger has an ace up its sleeve. Whilst the Tasmanian Devil is mostly solitary, the European badger lives in groups that usually consist of six individuals but can sometimes have up to 23 members. These groups live in complex dens called sets, with multiple exits and chambers. They even have toilets outside of their dens and constantly clean their sets and change their beddings. And last but not least, the European Badger can sleep during the winter to skip it, although it usually doesn't fully hibernate as bears do. Now we shall see their bonus skill stats. As you can observe, the Badger does better here, as there are a lot of advantages when it comes to living in groups. Can the Tasmanian Devil make a comeback? Let's look at their attack and defense and find out. The Tasmanian Devil is the largest carnivorous marsupial after the extinction of a Tasmanian Tiger. But don't let that fool you, because males still reach only up to 65 cm in length plus a 20 cm long tail and weigh 8 kg on average. European Badgers are larger, reaching up to 90 cm in length plus a 24 cm long tail and 13 kg on average, but can even reach 17 kg at the beginning of the winter. The heaviest badger recorded weighed more than 27 kg. Both the devil and the badger can eat a variety of animals. Now, what would you like to order? For you, Mr. Badger, I can recommend tasty airforms or insects, a small mammal like a rabbit or a hedgehog, carrion, or perhaps you'd like some cereals or fruit. The European Badger can eat a variety of foods, being an opportunistic omnivore. It has long and strong claws and jaws powerful enough to crush bones. Also, it has no problems devouring a wasp nest, since the wasps are no match for the Badger's very thick skin and dense fur. Just like its cousin the Honey Badger, the European Badger doesn't care. This time the Badger decides to hunt some rabbits, digging them out of their dens. What about you, Mr. Tasmanian Devil? You can have a wombat 
a bird, a fish, a frog, a reptile, or even a sheep? Or would you like to have the usual this time? The Tasmanian devil can attack a 30kg wombat or even a sheep if it is ill, using its long claws to easily grip the prey. But chasing these animals down might not be that easy with those low agility stats. So the devil will have a usual this time, which is carrion. The Tasmanian devil will devour the entire carrion, even the skin and bones. It is an easy task for the animal with the most powerful bite for its size. You might have observed that the Tasmanian devil has a large head for its body. Its jaw can open wide, allowing the devil to generate a force of 56 kilograms in order to tear meat and crush bones. Its bite is so strong that it can bite through thick metal wire. Other solitary devils can also join the feast, and while they are eating, the devils live up to their name, making a lot of noise. I wouldn't want to hear that in the middle of the night. But, despite their appearance, Tasmanian devils are less territorial than the European badgers. Of course, aside from other badgers, the European badger has to be aware of its predators, like wolves, lynxes and bears in some regions. Its thick skin will be useful for defense. The Tasmanian devil on the other side shouldn't worry about predators, because it is the largest carnivore in Tasmania. That being said, let's see their stats. They have very high attack and defense stats for their size. The Tasmanian devil matching the badger, even though it is smaller, because of its incredible bite force and lack of predators. When it comes to intelligence, both are doing well. They are both predators and this requires a higher level of intelligence. Also, we can see that Tasmanian devils are quite clever from a National Geographic study, in which some individuals could remove a bait from the traps without getting caught, and one female blocked the entrance to her den to keep her pups safe. So their intelligence stats are... Pretty good. And lastly, let's talk about survival, because there is no point in having high stats if a species is going extinct. The European badger is doing well here, being classified as a least concerned species with a population of more than 500,000 individuals. It can also give birth to 1-5 to five cubs, which can live up to 15 years. The Tasmanian devil is doing worse though, being classified as an endangered species with a population of 10,000 to 15,000 individuals. Their entire population is threatened by the devil facial tumor disease, a type of transmissible cancer passed on to other devils through biting. The tumors grow in the devil's face and eventually they will be too large for the animal to feed, resulting in death. The Tasmanian devil will usually give birth to 20 to 30 pups, but only four of them will get to feed in the mother's pouch and survive. These pups can live up to 8 years, but the average lifespan of Tasmanian devils is about 3 to 4 years. Now let's see their final stats. So they have really good stats aside from agility and survival for Tasmanian devils. But who is the winner? It is you who will choose the winner voting in the poll right there and feel free to leave your opinions in the comments down below. I will announce the winner in the next episode, so subscribe to M from Animals not to miss it and because you will help Spike achieve his goal of beating both PewDiePie and T-Series. Now is the time to announce the winner of the last animal battle between the Harpy Eagle and the Osprey. So, after counting all the votes, the winner is... The Harpy Eagle! A really powerful raptor. If you wanted the Osprey to win, don't be upset because here on I'm From Animals we love and respect all animals. So, once again, don't forget to vote the winner of this episode's battle in the top right corner. And, if you like what I make, consider supporting me on Patreon to fill up that Patreon list with your name. Respect animals.